we now move to the conditions of consumer's equilibrium. Before that, I'd like to mention, in fact repeat, some of the assumptions on which this equilibrium is based. I'll take these assumptions in brief, the details we have already studied. The assumptions are utility is ordinal, that is expressed in ranking. Second, the consumer is rational, means the consumer wants to satisfy or the consumer wants to obtain maximum satisfaction from spending his income. Number three, marginal rate of substitution is continuously falling. We have already explained why does it fall and why do we assume. Then fourth assumption is preferences are monotonic, which means we assume that more goods means more satisfaction. So we have four assumptions. Utility is ordinal, consumer is rational, marginal rate of substitution is continuously falling, and preferences are monotonic. In the exam, it is not necessary that you state the assumptions first. Unless you are specifically asked for. Jab tak aap se poochha na jaye ki assumptions bhi batai hai. Alak se mention karne ki zhurut nahi hai. If you want to be careful ke miss na ho jaye, to ek hi sentence mein charo assumptions bol jaye hai. Bas itna kai ke chhod dijiye, unko explain karne ki. Aapko zarurat nahi. So if the question is on explained conditions of consumer's equilibrium, straight away start from that. Usi se sida shalu ho jaiye ki there are two conditions of consumer's equilibrium. These two conditions are number one, marginal rate of substitution is equal to market rate of exchange. Remember, we normally say Px upon Py. This is on the assumption that x is represented on the x-axis and y is represented on the y-axis. If you represent y on the x-axis and x on the y-axis, it will be Py upon Px. So, x and y are not important. What is important is this, price of the good obtained. You obtain X, take this price, divided by price of the good sacrificed. In our example, we are going to take X on the X axis, which, which consumer is going to obtain, and Y on the Y axis, which consumer is going to give up. So therefore, in our example, it may mean this, PX upon PY, why it is so? We, I've, I've just given you the proof of this some time back. Why the uh, MRE is the slope of budget line and why MRE is equal to, if we take X on the X axis and Y on the Y axis, then MRE is also equal to PX upon PY. So from now onwards, we can say that our condition becomes MRS is equal to Px upon Py. Remember, this is on the assumption that x is represented on the x-axis and y is represented on the y-axis. Now, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is clear. MRS represents the rate at which the consumer is willing to exchange. Yeh wo rate hai jo consumer dena chata hai. This is the rate which consumer is willing to give. Market rate, the rate at which actually exchanged. This is the rate which consumer has to give. 
आप बाजार जाते हैं चीज खरीदते हैं आपके दिमाग में एक प्राइस होती है दुकानदार ने अपनी प्राइस बता रखी है सौदा कब होगा जब दोनों प्राइस मिल जाएंगे वेन द प्राइस यू आर विलिंग टू पे इज इक्वल टू द प्राइस विच यू हैव टू पे इन द मार्केट दिस इज वाई यू नो वी से एम आर एस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू एम आर ई अगर इसे आम भाषा में समझे इन ए कॉमन लैंग्वेज इट सिंपली मीन्स दट प्राइस द कंज्यूमर इज विलिंग टू पे फॉर वन यूनिट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू द प्राइस विच इज प्रिवेलिंग इन द मार्केट ओनली देन द एक्स विल बी परचेस्ड और वाई विल बी परचेस्ड ओनली देन इट विल हैपन सो दिस इज वट दस्ट कंडीशन से सेकेंड कंडीशन इज दट एम आर एस फॉल्स एज मोर ऑफ वन गुड इज ऑफेंड इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ दी अदर गुड वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन मेनी टाइम्स दिस कॉन्सेप्ट बट वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर वी विल टेक अप ए लिटिल लेटर सो इफ इन द एग्जाम यू आर आस्ट स्टेट द कंडीशन ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट रिमेंबर द वर्ल्ड स्टेट एस टी ए टी ई give the conditions of consumer equilibrium mention the conditions of consumer equilibrium if you state these two conditions in this way the answer is complete but if the question is explain so then first you have to state because there are separate marks for statement and then you have to explain also because there are separate marks for explanation now the question is uh what does this explanation means this will come in many other topics to explain karo it only means you have said a consumer will be in equilibrium when mrs is equal to mre the explanation is suppose mrs is not equal to mre what will happen why will a consumer not be in equilibrium remember equilibrium means a state of rest consumer is at rest when he finally decides what to buy and what not to buy if consumer is changing his plan he is not at rest he is not in equilibrium so we have to show why is consumer not in equilibrium why is consumer have the best plan why is changing the plan what reasons are given so explanation simply means what will happen when mrs is not equal to mre and what will happen if mrs doesn't fall agar mrs fall na kare to kya hoga okay so now we come to after explaining this uh, uh, after uh, uh, stating this let us now come to explanation of these conditions now explanation is suppose MRS is greater than MRE. Suppose MRS is greater than MRE. What will happen? We can have another way. If MRS is less than MRE, we will take it up little later. We have just stated what is MRS? The rate at which consumer is willing to exchange. वो X के लिए क्या rate देना चाहता है? The rate at which actually exchanged, उसको x पाने के लिए what rate he has to give in order to get x. So MRS represent the rate at which the consumer is willing to exchange x. कितना buy छोड़ने को तैयार है? And the rate at which actually exchange market में क्या rate है? We say that what consumer is willing to pay. the rate which consumer is willing to pay is higher so what will happen
कंज्यूमर विल बाई मोर ऑफ एक्स Why will he buy more of X? Because MRS is greater than MRE. Okay. Now, when he buys more X, more of X, marginal utility of X falls. Why? Because of law of diminishing marginal utility and we have learned that mrs depends upon diminishing marginal utility so if mu falls mu of x falls mrs falls Sometimes we call this MRS XY, MRV XY, MRS XY. Obtaining S in place of Y. It's a symbol they give. Many times symbol they give. Not be there, so no, no matter. False. Up. Kab tak? Let's remember, MRE is constant. Okay, market price is constant. Till. MRS is equal to MRE. This is the explanation of the first condition. Now, if you take the other, then the answer becomes opposite. Suppose MRS is less than MRE. What consumer is willing to pay is less. and what consume what market demands is more what will he do he will buy less of x opposite kar dijiye mu of x will increase ab aap kahenge sahab aap to ye law of diminishing marginal utility keh rahe hain no zyada hoti hai aapke paas to uski importance aapke paas kam hoti hai agar cheez aapke paas kam reh jati hai to jo baaki bachi hui cheez hai उसकी इंपॉर्टेंस आपके लिए बढ़ जाती है इफ क्वांटिटी ऑफ एक्स इंक्रीजेस एम यू एक्स फॉल्स इफ क्वांटिटी ऑफ एक्स इज रिड्यूस्ड देन एम यू एक्स राइसेस सो देर एम यू एक्स विल राइज वंस अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्शनल यूटिलिटी एंड एम आर एस एक्स वाई विल कंटिन्यू टू राइज टिल एम आर एस इज इक्वल टू एम आर Now there, there may be question in your mind. In the examination, should we write both? Not necessary, unless you are specifically asked to write both. You may explain one, and then add a line. And what is that line? Opposite will happen. If M R S X Y is less than M R E X Y, so then you can finally add a line. so in order to be in equilibrium the, the, the this condition of mrs is equal to px upon py or mrs is equal to mre must be satisfied otherwise consumer will not be in equilibrium now comes the question of explanation of the second condition remember fulfillment of the second condition that is mrs must fall continuously as more of x is purchased it is implied in ex first explanation if mrs doesn't fall the first condition will also not be fulfilled the first condition will be fulfilled only when mrs falls If MRS is constant, suppose, what will happen? अगर MRS constant हुआ, तो क्या होगा? Even first condition, then consumer will buy only X. 
because MRS is constant, MRS of XY is greater than MRE, so he will continue to buy only X, which is unrealistic. So second, first condition is necessary, jaruri hai, but not enough, kafi nahi hai. Ye statement aapko university level par kafi sunne ko milegi. What is the necessary condition and what is the sufficient condition? It, the first condition is necessary without which no equilibrium will take place. MRS is equal to MRE. But along with second condition that MRS is continuously falling must also be fulfilled. So when these two conditions are fulfilled simultaneously, so what, what will you write in explanation of proof? Unless MRS is falling, the first condition will also not be fulfilled. So in order that the first condition is fulfilled, you can explain if MRS is constant, consumer will spend the entire income on X, which is unrealistic. So in order that the first condition is fulfilled, it is also necessary that second condition is also fulfilled. The two must be fulfilled together. Only then equilibrium or you can say unique equilibrium. Ek aur term aati hai unique. Agar equilibrium ek se zyada ho, to fir usko hum equilibrium keh bhi sakte hain aur nahi bhi keh sakte hain. But when we say unique, there is only one possible equilibrium. That is possible only when these two conditions are fulfilled simultaneously. <coughs> I hope you have understood. If you get a question, explain the conditions of consumer's equilibrium. Now remember, the practice in CBSE is that drawing of diagrams is not necessary unless specifically asked for. So normally you will find in questions, explain conditions of consumer's equilibrium, use diagram, which means there are separate marks for diagram. <coughs> but if the question is, explain conditions of consumer's equilibrium, full stop, then diagram is not necessary. Now suppose the question is, explain conditions of consumer's equilibrium with the help of indifference curve analysis, use diagram, then you have to draw the diagram. Let us now see how these two conditions can be explained with the help of the diagram. Let us now <coughs> draw the diagram first and then say where are these two conditions fulfilled on this Let us take the condition number one. The rate at which consumer is willing to exchange is nothing but MRS. I hope you know that by now. And the rate at which he has to exchange is called MRE. You are familiar with now. You are also familiar with the fact that diagrammatically MRS is nothing but slope of IC and MR is, is nothing but slope of
बजट लाइन स्लोप ऑफ बजट लाइन आई होप दिस इज नाउ वे आर शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम वर्बल एक्सप्लेनेशन टू ज्योमेट्रिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन टू डायग्रामेटिक एक्सप्लेनेशन वेन यू एक्सप्लेन डायग्रामेटिकली रिमेंबर इट मीन्स द इक्विलिब्रियम विल टेक प्लेस वेन स्लोप ऑफ आईसी इज इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ द बजट लाइन ओके नाउ वेर आर दीज टू स्लोप इक्वल ऑन द डायग्राम दीज टू स्लोप आर इक्वल वेन बजट लाइन इज टेंजेंट टू आईसी वेर एट ई I2 टू इन डिफरेंस कर्व टू बजट लाइन लेट एस कॉल इट ए बी बजट लाइन ए बी इज टेंजेंट टू इन डिफरेंस कर्व आई टू एट ई सो वेर बी एल इज वेर एट ई ओनली एट दिस पॉइंट द स्लोप्स आर इक्वल एट नो अदर पॉइंट द स्लोप्स आर इक्वल एंड वी फाइंड दैट the equilibrium combination is equal to ox plus oy no other combination is at is in is in equilibrium ab chaliye thoda sa isko aur 